When I came to Coppell in uh, 91, it very definitely had a culture. Uh, our culture today is, couldn't be more different. Uh, it is intentional, it is by design. Uh, I've watched you throughout your career, Clay, and one of the things I'm most impressed with is your focus on creating a plan, uh, working towards achieving goals, measuring success, and ultimately achieving success. So I would think, as you started your career as city manager in Coppell, if your goal was to be much beloved and respected by your peers, by elected officials, by your staff, and by the community at large, if your goal was to create a servant leadership type culture that is the envy of communities throughout this region, if your goal was to leave Coppell a richer place in so many ways than when you started, you've achieved that goal. I remember the uh, recruiting process with the police chief. I remember the, all the interviews. I remember my one-on-one -on -one meetings with you. I remember when you offered me the job. And I can't tell you how blessed I am uh, that God has given me this opportunity to work beside you, we work beside the city staff. And, and I thank you for giving that, 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 um, the time to do that. And I, I thank you for, for, for giving me the opportunity to do that. Well, Bob, I can't believe that um, we've been on council for so long and it's time to say goodbye. Um, oh, hold on. Is this for Bob Mahalik or Bob Hager? No, this is about Clay. Clay who? Clay Phillips, <laughs> the city manager. <laughs> Clay, of course. So Clay, as you know, you always give me a hard time for forgetting about Bob. Um, but now we know all know who Bob is. Um, but of course, I know this is for you and um, Anyway, uh, first of all, I um, picked being outside because I think that I will always remember um, working on this beautiful piece of art with you. And so thank you for all your leadership in that. Um, I guess it's time to be serious and I guess it's um, hard for me to actually acknowledge the fact that it's um, time to say goodbye. Um, goodbye for now, not goodbye forever. And um, But I'm really excited for the next chapter in your life. Um, please know that you have been a, a mentor to me, you've been a leader, and I've really truly enjoyed um, serving on city council under your leadership as city manager. Clay, I would like to congratulate you on the decision. I know it was a difficult decision to make because this is your community, and serving your community is probably one of the most awesome feelings to have in public service. But I would like to leave you with just these comments. You really have served with a servant's heart. You've always exceeded the expectation that's been set in the organization, and you clearly have left the organization and the city better than you found it. On March the 31st, uh, you'll be walking away uh, from this uh, job and, uh, and uh, continuing your career. But I can assure the folks uh, here uh, in this city that uh, because of what you've done as the uh, fire chief, as the deputy city manager, and as the city manager of this city, uh, this city will never be the same. Well, Clay, you finally made it. It's uh, really going to be different here around the city without you here. I know you and I started within a few weeks of each other, and uh, I've always valued your friendship and enjoyed uh, our time in the office together. A couple of things come to mind, though. I do remember our first director's retreat. We all came just to talk, and you came with flip charts and diagrams and a vision for the fire department. And I think at that time it really kind of struck me, I've been thinking about it, that the whole thing was you're a very intentional visionary. And uh, you carried that through with, with helping us with the 4C and the culture of the organization. And uh, you know, you just have a passion for the job and I can see you carrying on in the future with uh, some type of leadership management training. Also the thing that's really struck me through the years is uh, the faith. Your, your faith. Uh, you've never been bashful about sharing your faith. You've never been bashful about letting people know that that's, 
that is number one in your life, and, and that's encouraging that uh, you have that conviction. Uh, I feel like we have a special kinship. Uh, we've shared a lot, done a lot together. Uh, you and your family have meant a lot to me and my family and uh, others in our community. Uh, so really thank you for your service. You've done an outstanding job, stellar in many ways. One of the things that you like to say and that I've adopted is that we stand on the shoulders of people that have come before us. Uh, I've adopted that. I got that from you, by the way, and I use it all the time. So hey, Clay, congratulations on your retirement. You know, I remember back in 1992, I was a young firefighter coming into the organization, and um, under your leadership and mentorship, you created a culture in the fire service um, that the people that you hired during that time, there's probably 20, 22 of us, we are all still here, and we are now the leaders of the organization. And so your legacy will live long beyond your years through us and hopefully through the people that have come in behind us. So I would like to personally thank you um, for, for that and then for believing in me, an unproven fire chief, and to give me the opportunity to step into a leadership role. Yes! Hey Clay, understand this retirement thing is cutting into your golf game. Don't worry about it. Just give us a call anytime. We'll be happy to play. Oh, by the way, thank you for your 26 years of service to the city of Coppell. It's citizens like you and, and employees of the city that make this in truly a fine place to live. We appreciate your hometown and you protecting it for us and for posterity. You always say one thing that always sits with me, and, and I use it as I go along in, in, in my daily works as a council member, and it's to, to leave it better than you found it. And you are the true meaning of that phrase. We are so lucky to have you being the leader of our city, and it has been just an amazing opportunity to serve side by side with you. Clay, when I first met you three years ago for coffee, I was just uh, overwhelmed by your professionalism and I was so surprised when you reached out to me and uh, asked me to meet. Uh, it really restored my faith in the process. I truly uh, appreciate your guidance and wisdom that you've given to the council over the years. And I have to say my only regret is that I was not on the council earlier to be able to learn from you uh, because you've just shown me so much over the past three years. I hope you take time to relax, enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, and play a lot of golf. And I just wish you the very best, my friend. I love you, sir. I respect you, and I wish all the best for you. Thank you. Congratulations. Cheers to you and your family. And um, please don't be a stranger. Just know that we are here for you always. And um, you're always, to me, a, a dear friend. Thank you. Enjoy the second stage of life. I'm kind of envious. But look forward to seeing you on the other side. Good luck. So we appreciate uh, everything that you've done and uh, are looking forward to uh, uh, following your career as, uh, as you move along. And I wish you well as you move forward into the next phase of your life. Uh, I won't be too far behind you, but anyway, uh, good luck in the future. And uh, just thank you for all that you've done for me. Uh, thank you for educating me in matters of government and in life. I appreciate you, love you, and you take care and have a great retirement. Yeah, you've been a huge mentor for me, um, the rest of our command staff, and we're going to do our best to keep those traditions and your legacy going throughout the years of keeping our community service as a top priority. Good luck to you and um, invite me to Hawaii and I'll come visit you. Again, thanks and enjoy your retirement. I wish you the best of luck in the future for, um, for whatever your plans may be and we will really miss you and don't be a stranger around here. I'm, I'm just so happy for you, and we are going to miss the heck out of you. So congratulations on your next step, and, and 
I, I just, I'm so proud to have had this opportunity to, to serve with you. Thanks so much. Good luck. We served the guy in the house. Hey, what do you think? What? Did you tell I'm busy? Stay out of my son.